Narcolepsy, although it's considered a rare disorder, it affects about close to about 200,000 people in the, in the United States. And what its hallmark symptoms are, are excessive daytime sleepiness. Um, the excessive daytime sleepiness is so severe that it manifests as sleep attacks, which is an irresistible and inadvertent um, you know, pattern of just falling asleep. So you could be you know, doing just your normal daily activities and suddenly you'll, you'll be falling asleep. So that's one thing. Also, there's these things called hypnagogic hallucinations, which is when, when you're about to sleep, you start um, uh, hallucinating, uh, having either uh, hallucinations that are visual, auditory, or somatic, meaning that you feel something on, you, on your body. And then oftentimes those are accounted by sleep paralysis, which means that you're unable to, to move. You're unable to move your voluntary muscles for a few seconds to a few minutes. And just to give an example, one of my patients you know, had this and, and then she re repeatedly um, uh, started to have this hypnagogic hallucination and, and sleep paralysis as she was going to sleep. And then she would hallucinate seeing her, her husband walk into the bedroom door and suddenly pull out a knife and, and come towards her and she couldn't move. Uh, you know, her husband and her were, you know, had a really good relationship, but, but still, you know, it was very obviously terrifying to her. But that's an example of a hypnagogic hallucination and a sleep paralysis. And then the last um, symptom is, um, is called cataplexy. And basically what that consists of is with strong emotions, such as laughter, anger, surprise, um, you suddenly have a decrement in your muscle tone and sometimes it could just be like your head will, will, will start to relax, you know, by your neck muscles, or it can also be uh, your limb muscles or even just falling down to the ground. And then what happens is um, uh, when you have this cataplexic episode, uh, for a few seconds to a minute or so, you can be conscious of what's going around you, but you can't, uh, you can't really move. And that, um, and then sometimes what will happen is the person will, will um, drift off into sleep.